We Texans can boast with the best of them, and when it comes to bragging about barbecue, well, we'll put our money where our mouth is. Sure, the Carolinas crow about their pulled pork, and Kansas City claims their sauce is a masterpiece, but the Lone Star State is first about the beef. Hand-rubbed, wood-fired, slow-smoked brisket is serious business. And for an old-school brick pit burning cords of post oak, there's no better place to watch that magic come to life than Kreitz Market in Lockhart. You're going to be cameras over here. When I started doing this, there were four or five notable barbecue places. It was Cooper's, Kreitz, Louis Mueller's, and really that was the trinity. Kreitz Market. It's a very specific, I get chicken, I get jalapeno cheese sa sausage, sweet chips, sauerkraut, eat out on the porch on the south side of the building, and it's, it's heavenly to me. I love it, I love it there, I love that place. There's so much great barbecue out here now. Fold your arms. It's been see. said that a picture yeah. is worth a thousand words, but well, here in this small hill country that town that likes to call itself the barbecue capital of Texas, we met a photographer whose pictures do a lot more than save column inches. They can leave your mouth salivating and stomach growling for some good old fashioned Texas barbecue. Since 1997, Wyatt McSpadden has been making readers of Texas Monthly hungry with his camera. But for the artist himself, it's not the food on the plate that steals the show. Keep going. Probably the least exciting part of photographing this stuff is the barbecue itself. It's the pits, it's the people, it's the sun, it's the smoke, it's the fire. You know, it's these great piles of post oak wood. I mean, the food's great, and it can be lovely, but for me, it's, it's all of the stuff that goes into making that platter of barbecue. Okay, Roy, looking up here, and move this way a little bit. Right An Amarillo native, Wyatt began his life working at his daddy's grocery store, shelving produce and carrying wow. out sacks. It's where Wyatt got a first-hand look at the cattle industry in a town where there are more feedlots than shopping malls. Looking back, it seems things have come full circle from the cattle yards of the Panhandle to the smokehouses of Central Texas. I was around the cattle business, you know, as a kid in the grocery business. My dad was the butcher. And when I started out in the photography business, uh, my clients were feed yards, seed companies, uh, animal health products, and I have a whole bunch of great pictures of cattle in feed yards, cattle in, you know, grazing, cowboys working cattle, you know, all that stuff. You know, it's just very, it sort of gave me a foundation. You're still working with cows, you know that. Well, I know that, yes, and, and, and a, the in a way. much more pleasant way, I will say. You're, you're, you're on the looks better, smells but better. But it is, but it is, yeah, it's cows. true. You know, it's the, it's the same business. It's the, this is the retail, this is the end product. This is how you've and progressed. The glory, the, the, the glory of, of the steer and its ultimate <laughs> fate. You know, a plate of bar barbecue, great barbecue. Wyatt's adventures over the years documenting family owned barbecue joints in small towns prompted him to put together his first photography book, simply called Texas Barbecue. It was such a success, our friend and Texas Monthly Barbecue editor, Daniel Vaughn, dubbed him the official barbecue photographer of Texas. They teamed up for Wyatt's next book, but make no mistake, the man behind the camera is still all about the images. I'm not there to make judgments about the quality of the food, uh, you know, gosh, your potato salad doesn't have enough mayonnaise in it. Uh, I don't care. I'm there on a visual trip. I, I'm looking for photographs. And so a lot of times uh, the things that make a place a little funky are the things that, that attract me, you know. And it's not necessarily because they have the greatest barbecue. But I will say that some of the places represented in, in, in our book do make the best barbecue in the state. From portraits of governors to famous athletes, Wyatt has photographed some of our most influential people. 
But to him, nothing compares to the wood piles and the smoky pits he captures so beautifully through his lens. Just like that kid fascinated by farms and cattle, it's the simple way of life that grabs hold of Wyatt McSpadden. And each time the sun comes up and the smell of barbecue rises into the sky, it reminds him why his lifetime in photography is picture perfect. One thing that I've learned is get up, go early, be there before the sun comes up, hang around, don't get in the way, and take great pictures. But that's when, you know, that's when things are mellow at a barbecue place. Early in the morning, they're cooking, they're moving wood, they're turning briskets, and it's, a, going it's a really good time to be there. And it, I, it, it, it wins some respect uh, when you show up before the sun comes up and you don't complain about it. Oh, it's so early. You know, you just don't get away with that. I think about, you know, photographing at Snow's Barbecue uh, on a Saturday morning, which is, of course, the only morning you can photograph there, or you can go there, but there wouldn't be anybody there. But you've got these pits that are churning out smoke, and it's dark, and the, the sides are open to the place. There's no windows, there's no glass, and when the sun comes up over the trees and it pierces into that smoke inside the place, it's just absolute magic. It really is. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.